I'm standing in front of Solar One, and it's a prototype facility for a much larger building that will be built right on this site. It'll be an 8,000 square foot carbon neutral building that we call Solar Two. Solar Two, to me, is a roadmap for New Yorkers. It's one of the most important projects in Manhattan right now. It's going to be carbon neutral, net zero building, uh, lead platinum. It's just this exciting living, learning environment. The Lou Ressler Team Earth Charitable Trust uh, has always been quite drawn to the preservation of open space. And when we brought this proposal to them, given the history of, of stewardship uh, in this park and the trailblazing initiative that Solar2 represented was really a natural fit. It is innovative. It is inspirational. It shows what you can do with a building in New York City, one which could help us achieve our goals of reducing our greenhouse gas emissions. That's what's in Plan NYC. We will be a place where we will articulate a lot of the goals set forth in the Plan NYC, whether it's dealing with issues around air quality, energy issues because of the solar roof, water quality issues because we're right here on the East River, open space issues because we are in charge of maintaining Stuyvesant Cove Park. When we thought about a comprehensive strategy for energy efficiency in New York City, that really led us to think about what is a great project that brings the concept of carbon neutrality home in the world of architecture, and Solar 2 fit that bill. Our buildings are really where we spend all of our heat trapping gases. And so this building will serve as, a, as an example of how we can hit a home run. I think it's going to make the case that sustainability and technological innovation are actually sort of the same thing, it can come together very, very beautifully, that it's not about making a trade-off aesthetically in order to have something that's sustainable. It's both a high-tech kind of science facility and a real welcoming uh, community facility. There's, there's a feeling in a, in a, in a really well-designed, sustainable building that we're really part of nature and that we can enjoy nature. And I think Solar 2 will be a very good example of this, a, you know, a building that's really beautiful, a building that you want to return to, that you enjoy being in, that you want to explore. From the moment it opens, Solar 2 will be an iconic structure in New York City. Visitors approaching the building through Stuyvesant Cove Park will come upon the building along the banks of the East River at 23rd Street and have an expansive view of both Brooklyn and Queens. One of the unique features of the building will be the green screen, which sort of blends the natural and the man-made environments together. The green screen will provide shade in the summer and warmth in the winter. When you approach Solar 2, the first thing you'll come upon is the open-air cafe. Visitors will enter the first floor lobby, and the first thing you're going to see are the systems in the building, the geothermal wells, the inverter, the meter spinning backwards. The building itself is designed to mimic the old industrial buildings that lined the East River more than 100 years ago. But Solar 2 will be a platinum LEED certified net zero energy use building, meaning that it will generate more energy than it uses from its own sources. On the second floor, there will be an eco-apartment where visitors can experience firsthand the kinds of things that they can do in their own environment to make their lifestyle greener. As you leave the eco-apartment, you go down a long corridor to the multi-purpose classroom, which will be a lecture space that can accommodate 120 people or be broken into several smaller classroom spaces. Finally, visitors will be able to make their way up to the green roof and stand under the photovoltaic array and look out over the East River and really understand and experience firsthand the power of solar energy in New York City. This project really has uh, generated a lot of interest. At the end of the day, it's my hope that this is a facility, not some place that you go to when you know tourists are in town, but it's a place that really is part of the community where people can go and learn new things. It's truly one of the most amazing projects that I've ever seen and I'm, I'm there day one and I can't wait for it to break ground. We have to start somewhere and we have to be able to turn around and say how are we going to teach people that this is not technology for a hundred years from now, it's about right here and if Solar 2 can 
project to people what's possible, then the sky's the limit.